What is up guys, this is Lely and today we are here with my very first experience in PES 2019 using a team strength level 3 team. This isn't going towards the division series, I just thought everyone was raving about playing with team strength level 3, the gameplay so much better, so I thought let's give it a try. So you can see my team on the left, pretty fairly balanced I'd say, and you can see my opponent on the right, ironically with the team name Fair Play FC. He's got Cristiano Ronaldo up front and then he's whiteboarded his bench so he could come up against people like me who are using a fair team to try and bully us and get an easy win. So I thought, mate, if I get the early lead, you are in some serious trouble as I will just wind down the clock. So we go into the action here, we get the ball out wide to Bernard Dashi. We can see Harry free in the middle, we return it back to him, who just turns it into the far corner and makes it 1-0. And that's exactly how I was sat there, mate. I was like, you what, mate? You're going to try and bully me, are you? And at this moment, I thought, shall I time waste straight away? I thought, we've got a goal lead after two minutes. I just felt this wave of like, you know, momentum on my side and I thought, you know what, we can probably go get another goal. So we get the ball to William, he takes a brilliant first touch and I knew he was worried that I was going to, th um, not threaten it, sweat it. And uh, that's exactly what we didn't do. We ended up getting a lucky rebound and we ended up making it 2-0. I thought, this guy, <laughs> I've got every bit of license to just get that ball, hold it up in defence and just time ace. And... That's what I was thinking of doing, but then he got this attack with Ronaldo, he got himself a corner, and I thought if I can break from this corner, this would probably be my last attack, and then from there we will get the ball and hold it in defence, because that's what these sort of people deserve. And so you can see there my ride or die, Torre gets the ball with a nice little interception, builds up an attack from the back, and I thought this is going to be my last attack, and then that's it, we're going to waste time. So get the ball out wide to William again, this time we close enough to just place it into the far corner and make it 3-0. So now, as you know, from the kickoff, this game I feel like has a kickoff mode where I'm very susceptible to concede. So I thought, whatever happens, lads, I'm not even going to try playing my way out the back. I just knocked it straight out for a throw-in. So I thought, right, kickoff mode gone. This time when we win it, we are going to just hold up the ball. And that's exactly what I did when Ryder Die Torre, if you're wondering why I call him Ryder Die, he's going to be in my level 1, 2, three, four, and five teams. No matter what team I use, he is the guy that's always going to be there. So once I got the ball to Nacho there, who, even though there's no one around him and football was there, he finally figured out there was football there. Once he got it, we started wasting time, and I thought, I'm not going to make you lot watch this, you know, uh, wasting the whole time thing. But the one thing I want to show you, lads, he's losing, and if you look at the bottom, he's still playing on defensive. I'm thinking, what are you doing? I picked on this at the time. I thought, if you're not going to go attacking, then I'm not even going to cross the halfway line. So I made it blatantly clear that I'm just going to waste time. When he realised that, he went attacking. So my advice to you guys, when someone is, you know, going attacking like this, try not to overplay in defence. The space will actually pop up in midfield. And you don't want to overcommit and get caught on the counter-attack. As you'll see, the few, you know, chances I do concede to this guy are because I'm probably just picking out the wrong pass at the wrong time. So, and that is to do with him just being a lot higher up the pitch when he presses. So you can see here, lads, again, this is not something you want to do with the goalkeepers because, you know, that's where I, pre I think I pretty much lose the ball every time whenever I try, not every time, but the most of the times I do lose it is with the goalkeeper going for a long kick. So when they go all out attack, you have to literally just go forward because all the space in defence is taken and this is pretty much where all the space is. I could have easily sweated it there to make it 4-0, but Harit was on a hat-trick and I thought, let's just get him that hat-trick. So lads, you're going to see that we're near the end of this video and... There's one thing I'm going to do, which I encourage all of you guys to do this, because it just does annoy them that bit more. So you can see, lads, straight away in the start of the second half, you know, I say start of the second half, where we pick it up from, is the 71st minute. We've been doing this all half, and that long ball out wide to the keeper, well, from the keeper to the wide man, lads, the one problem with that is sometimes the game doesn't register the first touch, so straight away I want to turn on it. He ends up giving it away on the inside, and when he paused it there, I just thought, why is he pausing it? He's got a white ball team. So this time I paused it and while we were on the pause, I actually sent him this message saying make a sub and I was absolutely pissing myself when this happened because I knew he was never going to do that. So from that throw in which I just gave him, like, he actually gets a chance with the Ronaldo. Had it gone in, it wouldn't have bothered me. We were still, you know, 3-1 up. So he thinks he's getting a bit of momentum, lads. He thinks he's getting a few attacks. I got the ball to keep around forward, making him think we were going to go. And then nope, I dropped the ball and proceeded to waste more time. So we win the ball and I'm thinking five minutes to go now. We might have a little bit of fun ourselves. We intercept the ball with Delit, but then we end up giving it away with him. Probably a better idea to give it to a midfielder to play that pass. But our keeper's up to the job of saving it. And then this time from this clearance, we do get the ball to Harry. 
and we play through Bernard Dashi. I'm thinking, should I go for goal or shall I really show him how big my phallus is? and be a bigger dick and that's exactly what I did. We made it 4-0 against Fair Play FC and that was the end of my first match with a team strength level 3. You can see there in the message that it was like literally at the like middle of September, I think the 21st or something, I can't remember the date. So that's how long it's been since I should have uploaded this video. But yeah guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you do come across white world benches, I hope everyone just does this to them. Once you get the lead lads, just absolutely time waste discourage this i hate it when people do this they just exploit the game in every way possible so yeah guys i literally do encourage just take the piss out of people with you know even if you know you can't beat them take the draw whatever you know if you feel like you can beat them then you know just waste time once you've took the lead if you feel like you've got no chance going forward then just waste the time get the draw whatever just really annoy them because they do this to, they're that desperate for the win that's why they do this anyway guys if you did like this video remember to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more remember to subscribe until next time guys peace